So you want to sell your house for the most money in a sereno. Well, avoid these four different things. Selling a home is no easy task. There are so many things that can go wrong and it's hard not to feel overwhelmed by the process. But if you know what to avoid when selling your house in a sereno, you just might do it for the most cash possible. Here, I will tell you five common errors for first time sellers as well as veterans who want their, souls, their homes sold fast for the most money and with the least headaches. One, don't you dare go cheap on your pictures. We now live in a visual age and there is no getting around it. So today, most home buyers do their shopping online, at least in the early stages. The sad fact is a lot of the photos are in online listings are really poor quality and if you provide plant, but if you provide plenty of crisp quality photos, your house will stand out from the others and will generate plenty of interest. The thing is that most homes listed online are not well represented by their photos. This leaves the buyer with only your poor quality, low resolution image to go off and can seriously damage any chance they have of exploring your home and possibly visiting it, much less making an offer to buy it. Invest in professional photos to make sure that your home is viewed. Take your photos during the day when there's adequate natural lighting. Also, be sure your numerous photos display your home to its best advantage and highlight its selling features. Number two, do not get more emotionally involved. It's tough to give up and sell a home you've been living in for several years because you have an undeniable emotional attachment, but you've got to let that go. The trick is to think of yourself now as a business person, a home seller, rather than as a home owner who's selling a home. Try to take a strictly financial view of the matters to create distance between you and the home you lived in and made memories in. Also, try to think about things from the buyer's perspective. They're not just buying a piece of property with a structure on it, but a dream and a new life. You're doing something good for them, which will reduce your own emotional attachment and so help you sell your house for the most money in a sereno. Number three, don't fail to use an agent. Sure, don't fail to use an agent. Now, sure, our real estate agents take a small slice of the pie, but there are good reasons and a good one is well worth the price. Trying to sell your home on your own is generally not a good idea. And in most cases, an agent will help you get a better price. Agents understand all the legal intricacies and ramifications of, of the home sale transaction. They also know how to deal with the mountain of paperwork involved and the problems that inevitably come up in the process. Further, agents are the ones who will spend their time dealing with potential buyers and the tires and tire kickers. Real estate agents know the ins and outs of every detail involved in a home sale. They also are skilled negotiators, which means they can help you save some money on your purchase. Consider hiring an agent. It's always best to have someone who has experience working as part, as part of this industry as their advocate too. And you know, you'll thank me later. Agents understand all legal intricacies surrounding residential real estate transactions. Plus, these professionals deal with problems that often arise during processes such as paperwork or difficult buyers. Number four, don't ask for an unrealistic price. You want to sell your house for those most money in a sereno, but you also have to be reasonable. Overpriced homes just don't sell and people will generally shy away from overinflated prices if there's a better option available. A comparable market analysis is key here to avoid egregious overpricing. You can even use your market analysis to underprice your home a bit, just under a little bit, to generate more interest and multiple offers, which then can, which can then, in theory, right, encourage the many interested buyers to bid up the price, which actually happens quite often. If you want to attract more buyers, it's important not just that your house be priced competitively, but maybe a little bit underpriced. You can analyze your competition 
and with the right pricing, you may encourage more interest and multiple offers, which could lead to more buyers bidding up their original price. You want to make the most money in the sale of El Serena home, right? Well, do yourself a favor and do not do those four things we just spoke about. Uh, we just spoke about. And we can help you navigate, by the way, this whole complicated process. Simply contact us by calling us at 323-494-3252. Fill out the form. There's a link right there. You can click on it. Or if you're in you know, one of the different media, a bit different social media, just leave a comment. We'll get back with you or give us a call. All right. Thank you and have a, have a good one.